This is the famous uh, car, which uh, used to be Vascalis one. Obviously, it looks a little bit different now. Uh, we've done a few modifications uh, with, with um, sequential gearbox and a few other stuff. But uh, apart from that, engine is still the same. Uh, the power is lower, uh, 800, because as you all know, I'm not Vascalis. So I can't handle 1,000. <laughs> I'm stuck in the 90s, uh, still a D-Max Type 3 kit, just because I've always liked PS13s like that. It's basically Nakamura was my hero when I started looking at drifting, and hence why I bought a PS13 without even knowing what they were. Um, but yeah, hopefully I won't smash too much of it this year. My, my, unfortunately my rear end's a bit thinner than it should be as stock, so we're padding it all out to try and make it look nice. But as long as nobody looks at it too closely, it still looks quite pretty. Brand new look, uh, new team, um, bit of a funny one really. Uh, we knew we were leaving um, Pro Drift for different reasons, but we'd done well that year with, with Pro Drift, so it was moving on. Um, so then uh, Stuart from Betty Surf come along with us uh, to one of the events. Um, liked it that much, they come again, and then decided they wanted to have something to do with it so uh, so we sort of had a lot of talks over the off season um, I knew I was going to be either going on my own or or doing something so I knew I was going to have the car back to some sort of look that I wanted um, and yeah the rest is history as they say we, uh, we we've had more talks we've gone through it all they're well on board they've been looking after us great already shame we couldn't get going as quick as uh, we'd have liked but we're here now, so hopefully it'll be good. Building a, a new S15 for, well, it was supposed to be for Driftmasters, which I haven't actually said yet, but I'm not actually doing the Driftmasters for the 2020 season now. So uh, I've got a bit more time now to finish that car. But in the meantime, we've finished the S14 ready for the British Drift Championship. So we're going to do the four rounds of the season and yeah, hopefully try and do the same as what we did last year. So Joshy's tyres are completely goosed now. We've been doing a lot of um, sort of like video video logs and uh, basically building up the car and what we do sort of behind the scenes and you know the stuff that we don't normally see. Uh, I will turn up with a car that works, but what actually happens with the messing around behind and building the cars and uh, yeah, you'll be able to see the time and all the money that I spend doing all this silly things and yeah it's 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 pretty good and yeah it's ollie evans underscore drift on youtube so yeah if you want to see me swearing and trying to pretend like as if i'm enjoying myself building cars then yeah have a watch of that Hey, 
had his hand out going, got no tyres. His tyres are completely shot. <laughs> Every drifter's dream to be in BDC. That's where we all want to be. Um, I would have liked to have got there through driver merit, but I'm amazed, you know, to be given this opportunity to go and drive with the best. And hopefully, I can do BDC proud. Put a show on for the crowd. I wanted something with a bit of power, so I picked a Subaru. Probably a big mistake but just kept developing it from there. So four years later, this is where we're at. Um, so BMW V8 M62 B44, still lined, forged, turboed. Um, we was running it big power, but drivability was an issue. I was still learning. So we've dropped the power back a little bit. We're at 540 horsepower at the moment, very drivable. Um, we've had to put a Nissan 350Z axle into it to get the grip. We've custom made the front. Everything's custom made on the car because there's nothing available off the shelf. So at the moment it's working. I think we finally got there four years down the line. So hopefully we can do all right. Jamie Muswell built me a whole new chow, true front end, true rear end, rear radiator, cage, it's like a jungle gym in there. Um, and an electric water pump, and that's about it, really. Just tidied a few things up. Just, well, it's actually painted one colour for once. Well, I say one colour, it's all nicely coloured. I mean, obviously, like we were in Drift Cup before, and now obviously with the car we've got, uh, we used to drive that little E30, and now thanks to all my sponsors, we've got this amazing PS13. Um, so I'm just really excited to be in with it and like have the actual kit and the car to keep up with everyone. It's super exciting. Put your hard hats on. We're going to work. It's, uh, yeah, it's been a mixed bag today. Obviously, you can see that there's plenty of rain coming, but uh, yeah, and it's been hellish patchy out actually on the circuit. But now that it's dried up a little bit more, we're now starting to dial it in, and actually we're having to really attack South Bank to actually make it so we can get to the BDC line at the top of the hill. Oh,